All right, and now it is a second run at Richter Belmont here for Elegant. He took one down. Can he make it a second one? Having to fight three Belmonts in bracket, one who sent you to losers and another who kind of just drained you a little bit in the match just yeah. before this. Yeah, I mean, he's had two full sets versus Richter get some experience and figure out a better game plan for Nitro. All right, Nitro gonna set up with the Holy Water there. Gets the push back with the Fireball. A Fireball trading with the down tilt. Gonna put Nitro in a prime position for Elegant to get the grab, <gasps> the jabs rather, but backwards hit a forward here. That, that's one of the things you don't want to see, like, especially, especially when you got a really good edge guard on a commanding character like the Belmonts. Ooh, very nice call out with a down smash there. I couldn't get the grab there. And Richter setting up once again. Holy water at the ledge. Not elegant. Not gonna give it to him. Just sitting there. Yeah, very nice. I I respect the jump call out from Nitro there. A lot of yeah. people would have jumped just in case another holy water was coming out. Ooh, can't hold on to that too long. You know that axe is coming out sometime or later. Ooh, but that was a great use of the Cyclone's iframes to just get down to the ground. Even though it didn't actually connect all the way onto Nitro, it still let uh, Elegant get back down for a little bit before he gets hit with a back air. All right, Nitro coming down with another down air. Trying to space him out with these forward airs and back airs. Solid cross action there. Gets with a down tilt too. All right, goes for the axe follow-up, but the Nair going to clank with its own not a bad spot for Elegant. Pretty sure Elegant would have died if that forward smash hit him. Oh, tip of forward smash, not going to connect. Just hits that shield there, and down air, not going to connect either. Yeah, this is starting to get very difficult for Elegant. I like the skid of Holy Water that Nitro did right there. And he's doing really well, holding on to the stock. Air dodge just get away from the blast zone there. Cyclones as Nitro tries to meet him in the air. He bounces off of the Polter Gust, but not gonna matter with the Cyclone in his in his face there. Alright, down throw into the dare. Nair, dare, goes for another hit but doesn't find it. But forcing him off stage with the ja uh, with the dash deck and the backwards hit of down here going to stage fight and a quick zero to death there for Elegant. Elegant making it, turning it all the way back around. Has a stock lead here, gets hit by the whip. Another axe and he runs into it. Just remember, it's, uh, I believe, eight frames before you can get your shield out at, after dash, or in dash. All right, gets, gets the setup, gets the camp. Very nice axe, not gonna kill just yet. Yeah, good DI from Elegant. Another axe, not gonna catch him on the ledge. Ooh, parried. Luigi, oh, another parry on the back air. Luigi kind of mad about what's going on here. Holy Water not going to catch him on the ledge. Jump get up, and he gets it with a forward tilt. All right, throws cross back. Another cross out, just in case Elegant wants to jump to intercept him. Elegant with a patience, just staying right under on the cross and oh, just out of Holy Water's reach. Oh, great parry into the down smash. Going to just force Nitro off stage, a trade, but it puts Nitro on the ledge. As we saw in the sets before, he's using Fireball to keep, uh, keep Cross back. It just jumps over it. Nice Poltergeist into dash attack there. And he's gonna make it back with the flare. Ooh. Elegant, or Nitro looking for a cheeky combo off of the down air, but Elegant fighting his way through it. Ooh. Ooh, that was scary. Vacuums him in, but the vacuum a little bit too strong, saying Nitro to the other side, not gonna be able to complete the cycle in itself. Jab into the grab, not going to connect. A forward tilt puts Nitro in an awkward position. Elegant not gonna punish the tether, though. Another Tipper, F tilt there, he gets the misfire. Wait, that wasn't misfire, that was just it was, fully charged. It, um, was it? I thought it was misfire. Oh, it could be misfire then, because, yeah, it was definitely misfire, because fully charged apparently does not have that animation. Yeah, see, you got me, you got me confused. My bad. All 
Right. Oh, and the back air, it will connect, and that goes in favor of Elegant. Back air for the back air, very nice. Elegant there, keeping his composure as he was continuously trying to come back to stage. Why did you not ban Kalos? You have to ban it against Nitro. It seems like he's very confident in his Kal Kalos pick, but as you said before, he, oh, he, he has he lost such a good win rate on Kalos. Yeah, you, he lost to uh, Nitro on Kalos? Yes. Yeah. So, all right, let's see what the game plan is here for Elegant, allowing him to go back to his counter pick stage. A lot of setup options for Nitro on this stage, too. Smacking him with his whip there, continuously keeping him off stage. And there's the stock, 96. He's gonna take it there. All right, there's the backer. Elegant trying to fight his way off the ledge with these fireballs. Oh, there's the grab opening for Elegant, but he doesn't get the landing there. Up, he's out of shield, but that down air going to connect after the Oh my god, top. and there it is! Wow, no, no high ceiling gonna save Nitro there. Gonna take his stock just almost at the same percent. He lost his. Out of holy water. I like oh, how great use of the dash tag. Yeah, I like how Nitro was trying to set up a a zone there with the back air, but Elegant very smartly zone breaks it and is holding on to mid state. Oh, just gives it up. I feel like we keep seeing the same thing from Elegant, where against these Belmonts, where he's struggling, he's struggling, he gets the first stock, and they just opens them up real fast on their second stock. Yeah, right there, Cyclone definitely gonna take that right. Very close to the blast zone, not right next to it, but sending him straight up. Axe, not gonna claim. I guess the platform is sort of good for uh, for Elegant as well. Oh my god, that Axe almost connected to him. Yeah, it uh, gives Elegant an extra way to recover, but if Nitro reads it with a backer, that could be his life. Like right there, oh, I'm not able to hit him. So surprised that backer actually didn't connect in favor of Nitro. All right, another cross in the face. What? Upper just not connecting against Elegant there. Get off of me. Gets. Ooh, not able to get the forward, the forward air, but gets the down tilt too. Ooh, Ooh. not much he could have done there. Yeah, sometimes, you know, if Nitro gets the timing right, there's nowhere really for Luigi to go down there. Not much really for almost anyone to do, unless you have really good iframes on your up which Or you can go from, like, an angle. But, like, Luigi has to go pretty much straight up. Yep. Good connection. And he whips out the fire with the before there, there. I like the back air attempt. He's mixing up Nitro's DI. Yeah, and if Nitro DI'd away there, I think he died. Like I was saying earlier, it looks like Elegant jumps forward, so if you DI away, he can up you, but if you DI in, he's still able to react with a back air. Mm -hmm. All right, gets the Cyclone through the Holy Water, but not gonna kill just yet. Another Cyclone, just straight up from neutral. Ooh, clank there. Ooh, and Cyclone not going to kill quite yet. Already four uses on Cyclone. On Wait, the I think that's it. Yeah, he lost his jump, got hit with the plunger, and Elegant tarnishing Nitro's win rate on Kalos. Ignore what I was saying, I guess. Yeah, Elegant definitely got the counterplay there. Uh, using, actually using the platforms on Kalos to mix up his recovery, uh, to really just fade back from back air when he wanted to jump recover from ledge. Alright, and now game number three going to get started. No changes here. And now it all comes down to can Elegant bring this all the way full circle. You know, he lost 3-1 to Nitro in winners. He's already won more games than this set in losers. Can he, you know, take the set without giving Nitro a game? 
Elegant. Elegant has been showing that he can adjust on the fly. He's using Nitro's own counter pick against him, helping him recover. But Nitro saying nay with his Town and City counter pick, continuously bombarding Elegant as he's trying to recover. Wow. Great air dodge there for Elegant. Uh, if he he goes up with it so he can avoid the F-Snatch, but he still gets punished in the end. And I cannot land on, on Nitro's shield like that. And that was really weird angle. Both cross and forward tilt hitting at the same time. Just not killing Elegant just yet. Very good spacing from Nitro. Asking why he's hitting his shield for these uppies. Yeah, and F tilt, this is looking very, very dominant for uh, for Nitro in this game number three. I'm really liking the Tyrant City pick here for him. Yeah, and Nitro just holding center stage, holding control. But finally gets hit with a jab and jab locked. No. Oh, and he air dodges off stage and elegant with a quick turn of uh, turn of events. Yeah, qu the tables have turned here for Nitro. That's what I'm trying to say. Elegant has tipped the scales in his favor, but same with Nitro, just evening it back out. Throws the cross. Hopefully, Elegant would have got hit by it, but no, dash attack straight off the bat. Elegant getting a little bit overwhelmed by the interaction there with the holy holy water. Ooh, that platform almost messed up Nitro's uh, inward air dodge there. Did, did Elegant just fall out of it and air dodge into it? Yep. Okay. It being holy water, of course. All right, another cross. Wow, actually sent Elegant backwards. Apparently it was at the very end of its cycle. And Axe, oh. wow. Take catches him top. jumping out of shield. And even though Elegant was able to get the first stock, it was mostly based on uh, Nitro panicking. Uh, panicking and, you know, air dodging and killing himself at 30. But other than that, it's been very dominant for Nitro on this game number three. Elegant trying to keep this lead here, uh, trying to bring it back. Ooh, Ooh, okay. You didn't have to do that, but I think he had to go do ahead. It. I think he had to do it to him. Just wants to send a net message to Nitro I saying know that he this had to game three is him. his. Elegant trying to seal this stock right here. Continuously trying to whack Nitro with that, after that down air. Up be out of, uh, out of hit stun. Very, very good option for, for the Belmonts. Ooh, another fireball gonna connect on Nitro. And these axes just doing mad work for Nitro. Oh, up smash, not gonna get the tipper, so it won't be the kill quite yet. Elegant can still bring this one back, but Nitro does not want that to happen. He's doing his best Cross. to just keep Elegant out of his face. Cross the savior uh, for Nitro there. If Elegant had gotten a misfire, I don't think Nitro would have reacted in time. Definitely had a four tilt yep. ready. Just like that, Holy Water setting up into the four tilt. I love how dominant that game was from Nitro. Yeah, that. I really don't think we're gonna see Town and City for the rest of this set. Hopefully not. Because if Nitro, yeah, if Nitro wins this this game too, it's still, uh, it's still uh, Elegance counter pick. Definitely not gonna opt for Town and City after what happened there. But if he does, he definitely wants to make a statement going into PS2 here. Huh. Uh, I, what would the benefit of him going here be? Other, like, because the platforms are small enough for Nitro's up tilt just to cover the whole the whole thing. It could just be a comfort thing. It might also be because he has a lot more stage to work with with how long Pokemon Stadium is. Maybe. I'm sure we'll see exactly why throughout this game. Nitro turning it in his favor, throwing out the holy water and all of his other projectiles here. Definitely looking like a little bit of Toho invaded this game with how often he's using his projectiles to keep Elegant out. Another dash attack after the uh, air dodge out and he gets the parry on the down air. Not gonna connect the off smash after double reverse up airs. Yeah, not only does he get the parry, but he actually jumps up there and punishes Nitro for it. All right, not gonna get the forward smash and gets full dash attack. Elegant doing really well trying to cover this ledge, but he's not getting the stocks yet. 
And the F tilt from Nitro reacting to him, rolling past him. Not quite going to do it just yet. All right, another Axe clanks with Green Missile. And uh, Holy Water not going to connect, uh, connect to Elegant on his jump getup. Oh, I like that. Just gets a falling Holy Water and gets another one to connect to Porto. Right, that was oh, oh, I love the use of the Holy Water on the platform there. Uh, Elegant barely able to escape it. Yeah, those parries were very crucial. Holy Water looked like it actually just covers the whole platform as it has apparently a wider hitbox than it, it seems. All right, gets a downward angle forward air and throws out another Holy Water. Nair into the Cyclone, that's a guaranteed kill right there for Elegant. Not looking too, too bad. Elegant, you know, needs to find one grab, and we've seen him zero to death the Belmonts multiple times throughout uh, this tournament. I like that microtransaction from uh, from Nitro there. Just using his cross and using Nair to keep Elegant in shield so he could uh, back away safely. Ooh, Uppy out of shield. He is catching Elegant on these shield attempt, uh, shield oh, hit attempts. That's not a good up B there from Nitro, but that is a good air dodge to game out of the dash attack. All right, Axe just gonna fall through and not gonna uh, follow up on the Holy Water, just trying to reset neutral. Another Axe gets the forward version, makes it go a little bit further. Ooh, gets the up air off the cross connection. Yeah, and that's what I wanted to see more of is He's using the cross to set up into kills instead of just to be an annoying projectile. All right, trying to throw out a forest match, trying to read a roll a little bit too far for it. And dash attack, name of the game, uh, name of the set actually. Both players apparently loving their dash attacks. Oh. Yeah, I mean, both of them don't want to be too close to the other one, so. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I just watched it happen. I lost my train of thought. He, he broke his knees, but at the very tip of the fire jump punch there. And that's what I was saying earlier, is if you DI away, Elegant is looking for it with the up B. All right, just gonna go right through Holy Water. Just pushing Nitro away a little bit. Forces him to roll, and uh -oh. there's the grab. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no, no, he not. doesn't get the landing up here. And just out spaces the forward smash there. Great back there, there from Nitro. Side B into the Holy Water, but he only gets clipped by him, forced back onto the ledge. Very clutch air dodge on the Holy Water there. Up B out of shield. Once again, Elegant trying to hit it, punished for it. Yeah, the second Elegant pokes his shield with any sort of limb, he is, or pokes Nitro's shield rather, Nitro is going to just throw out the Up B out of shield and get goes high and gets called out for it with the up air. Get out of here. My turf. Richter definitely saying you don't belong in this world. What's heaven look like, Luigi? <laughs> Dang. I don't know. I think Luigi's known since the Belmont Reveal trailer. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, my God. That, that's a long throwback. I was... I remember, like, waking up my whole household because of how how hype I was for that trailer. There were some good reveals. Actually, it wasn't even the Luigi, like, it wasn't even the Belmonts that got me that high. It was Krom. It was Krom. I don't even play Krom anymore. <laughs> but no Swordsman on screen right here. We got Luigi versus the Belmont, Richter himself. Very nice dash attack to challenge that fire. I forward smash on the shield. Nitro going for his up PS shield once again, but not going to be punished. Throws out another Holy Water, another Axe. Cross and continues with the pressure. And back here, not going to take it just yet, but does Elegant have a jump? He, yes, does. he does. And great forward smash right there from Nitro looking to get the stock, but... Gets the falling fight. Holy Water. Ooh. Wow. Uh, Elegant not able to really touch Nitro's, Nitro's first stock here. I like the pressure, just throwing out the Holy Water to force Elegant roll in or roll, uh, get up in place. Using the Nair to continuously pressure. And this DI mix-up from Nitro is looking very, very good in his favor. Yeah, and the F-Tilt 
Nitro really started running away with this one. All right, cross axe and Oh my god, the... you have Wait. no shield. What was Ellie going to do there? Get the shield break and still die? I, I'm pretty sure it just shield poked. I feel like Ellie can try to jump out of that situation. Like, who wouldn't? It's possible. The dare into the neutral air and Eftel for Elegant to force Nitro off stage, but still not able to get the stop. All right, another Holy Water cross setup. And he does get the up Is, that, is, is that it? No. Elegant with the good DI to keep himself in this game. Oh, uh, never mind. Not, not going to deal with that anymore, just SDs. Yeah, no, it's too much. For it. That's going to be a three stock for Nitro and a reverse 3 0. I mean, good stuff for him making the comeback, though. Yeah, Nitro making. <laughs> cool. Just continuously making sure that Elegant could not break his zone anymore, keeping him out, draining his stamina to the last bit. Yeah, sometimes, you know.